This is, what is it called? L'amour, toujours l'amour. What does that mean? High school French again. Love, always love. I think that's what that means. Um, I'm sorry I said that in such a jerk way. Love, always love. That was still a jerk way. Anyway, sorry, am I flashing you with this? Ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'll edit that out. This is just a little, a little everyday eye. I really wanted to use this NARS palette because I think it has like, such, ugh, such amazing, amazing colors. It's got little pops of color. It's got these four. These four make me so excited because they're four colors that you would actually use. You have little pops of color right here and right here, deeper shades. I had a couple of requests. They wanted to know what my eye look was in my drugstore haul video, and I used this. I really wanted to use this palette in a tutorial too. I probably will use it in more tutorials, but it's just so gorgeous. Like, it's so, so beautiful. Neutral, but sassy. You've got a blue, a teal, this bronze in here, a bright gold, and then a more beige gold. I was wearing a different lip in that video. I was wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Heathers in that video, but in this I did something a little bit more neutral. I wanted something glossy and am I, am I way down? Maybe I should have been here. I don't know. Here's my little sparkly nude face. And these are the products that I'm using for my foundation, my beloved Cover Effects Drops. But first, I'm putting on this um, naked, what's it called? Naked foundation. I'm shaking that in a really alarming way, I'm sorry. Um, a combo of the Urban Decay Naked Foundation and then afterwards, because I'm running out of these drops, um, I'm just stamping on some of those Cover Effects Drops. But I really like this combo. It makes me look alive. And going in with my new Wet n Wild concealing pen in a happy medium. Just going over all of the points of my face that I would like to, to bring extra light to. Then we're gonna take this, my Morphe G2 brush, and just gently pat, 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 pat. Pat all of that concealer out and it just kind of evens out the flow, you know what I'm saying? It just evens out the application, makes it a lot softer, um, but you can just see already how illuminating that concealer is. Do you see the duck face that I'm giving you right now? Yeah, you do. This is my Laura, my Laura Mercier Trans... Tr what is it? Translucent Setting Powder? I think that's what it is. Um, but I'm just taking that all over my eyelids. I did put some foundation on there too because that's going to act as my primer for my eyeshadow. And I'm gently also patting this all over my face, not sweeping it over because I want a more, I want a higher concentration of powder because I really, really want to set this makeup. Next, I am going over my eyebrows with, what is this, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in Brunette. Might have a different name now, but I'll, I'll find it for you. And just combing through with my little spoolie there until we get something we like. And then just setting everything in place with some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And really working for it. Hair flip. Next, we're gonna use the star of the show, the most beautiful palette in the world. We're gonna go over all of my whole eyelid <laughs> um, with this fluffy brush with that sort of toasty beige color. And you can see it's just nice and sheer, it's not too stark. And then again with that fluffy brush and that muted matte taupe, and that's just gonna add very, very light definition, you can see. It looks really nice on my eyes to do this all over the lid because my eyes are not so deep set. Next, we're going in with this dark brown shimmery shadow and a smaller fluffy brush to just add light definition at the lash line and in the outer corners of the eyes. Just gives it a little zazz, you know? I'm all about that zazz. And we're taking that same color, that same shimmery dark brown, right underneath the eyes for added extra definition. Give it to me what you say. Uh. And next we're zooming in for this uh, liquid eyeliner. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick Pen. It's got a brush tip and it's really nice, actually. Just using the long side of this brush just so it's easier for me. I use like nice short strokes, nothing too major. 
and clean it up with my finger before it dries completely. And I'm pretty happy with it. Next, just going over that line with a little more of that dark brown shimmery shadow, just to ease out any jaggedness or any mistakes we made. This is a really good trick, actually, for any eyeliner. Next, going in with my beloved L'Oreal Telescopic, what is it? L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I said that like Carly Bible. Whoa, because she's from New Jersey. Carly Bible, Carly Bible, Carly Bible. I don't know, okay. Next, I'm going in with this shimmery beige color right in the corner of my eyes. And this is one of those new uh, Wet n Wild brushes. They're just so good. But you can see that just adds such a just beautiful brightness with hardly any effort. Next, I'm going in with this fluffy brush from Morphe. I think this is the M501. And back in that shimmery beige, and that is going to act as my cheek highlight. And I love that they give you a nice big pan of color so you can really use it for that, you know? just all over the face, um, all over the places where I highlighted with that concealer pen as well. This is obviously not concealer, but it's shimmery and it's gold, yay. Next, I'm using my Girlactic bronzer all over the face with this fluffy Wet n Wild brush. Uh, this is the bronzer in Cabo. And just all over the tops of the cheeks, just for some definition, man. Definition, gentle warming, tiger face, I don't know why I gave you that. And this is, uh, what is it, Milani? One of their rose blushes. I think it's Romantic Rose with this Morphe E4 brush, I believe. And just, again, with the tiger face and the hair in my mouth, hot mess. Next, I'm going over my lips with um, an incredibly dull <laughs> uh, MAC Spice lip liner, just filling in the whole lip with that and outlining too. Give me that definish, please. Give me that definish. And going over that with this Oh My Gloss Upside Down <laughs> from Rimmel. I believe it's in the color Captivate Me. And it's just this nice, pretty, mid-tone rose color. And this is the look. And now here I'm giving it to you in a lot of different ways. And it's really sexy. <laughs> but this is it. I am flipping in love with this palette. This doesn't like biff you with color, so you're like, oh, what do I do? Like, it's easy to blend. It's hard to make a mistake with. You could really use these shades for a lot of different things. They don't have to be just for your eyes. You could use this on top of a lipstick to give yourself a little pout of your mouth. Like, if you're deeper toned, you can use this for a highlight. You can mix these. Like, it's just really, really versatile. I mean, it's just... NARS, well done. Anyway, I hope you like this makeup look. I hope I'm not like the troll underneath the bridge like coming to get you um, with makeup. I would invite that troll in though. I would, you don't have to invite trolls in. Who do you invite in? Vampires. Don't invite vampires in. Um, I mean, unless, no, it's better. It's better that we don't, right? But I think this is just a really nice look for work. What else is it a nice look for? Business meeting? I don't know, I don't know what else people do. Go to pick up your dog from the vet? I don't know. Hopefully everything's okay, you know what I'm saying. I'm making up a story about you and your dog and getting worried about it, great. But I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. I am happy to oblige and I will see you next time. Bye!